Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. Now in this video, I've got a really simple tip for you when using V-Ray and SketchUp that will drastically improve your renders. Let's jump into SketchUp and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So here I have a simple render of a plant. Now with this render, it's a good render. It's not a bad render at all. We've got some good detail on the plant. Now this is actually a Chaos Cosmos plant. So that's why it's got all these really nice textures applied to it. But overall, it's a pretty good render. Now there is definitely a way we can improve it though, and I'm gonna show you that now. Now I'm in the SketchUp model itself, away from the V-Ray frame buffer. So we're in the model and we're looking at our geometry in SketchUp. Essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the depth of field on our camera, and that will allow for some defocus to come into our render and make it look more realistic. So to achieve that defocused effect within V-Ray, what we need to do is basically come into our render settings. Now if you scroll down uh, under the camera tab, you might have to click on the little arrow to extend it. You'll see this setting called depth of field. And what we wanna do is just tick this on. So now if we come into the depth of field settings itself, you'll see that we have a few different variables that we can change. Now the first setting is defocus. This is how defocused and how much of that kind of defocus effect we'll get within our render. Uh, this next area is how we target the area that we want to focus on and then this is the focal distance itself. So I like to keep mine on fixed distance and then use this little pick point to actually pick where on our model we want our camera to focus. So if I click on pick point and then click on the area that I want to focus, so this is the area, it's the vase in front of me, I'm going to click that once and that will actually set the focus distance, th this variable here. With the defocus itself, having a higher number will increase that effect and having a lower number will decrease that effect. I like to put it around 400 for any kind of zoomed close-up shots where you want a nice depth of field. So for instance, we're focusing on this vase here. But to get that nice effect, I'm going to put it on 400. Now that may be a bit bit too high for some people but I'll show you in a second what it looks like. So I'm going to set it to 400, about 400, we've got 402 there. We've clicked our pick point and we picked our bars and now I'm going to run a render and I'll show you what that will look like in one second. So the render is just completed and you can see that we have a really nice blur effect on our background. Our bars are still in focus and we've basically got a band of focus so areas of the table will be in focus and then uh, slightly out of focus the areas are going to be slightly out of focus behind and in front of that focal distance point that we selected with our pick point tool in B-Ray. The background is out of focus, which is more like to take in a photo itself. So on a camera, you take a photo, you're going to get some defocus, and we've achieved that here with this render. We can actually A-B it, so I'm going to A-B it here. So this is our original render. As you can see, it's kind of very crisp. Everything is in focus, it's very flat. And then we apply the defocus and we get a totally different result and a totally different feel. But I think it's actually better. Now, some people may prefer this render as opposed to this one, but I think in general, most people will prefer the one with a bit of defocus because it has a greater sense of realism and it's more alike similar photos that you may have seen in the past. So that's the quick tip on how to use the defocus and um, depth of field tool within B-Ray. I think it achieves really good results and I recommend you have a play with that in your SketchUp models. Now if you'd like to create scenes like this for yourself, I've actually got a really good Skillshare class on interior design and interior V-Ray rendering. That'll be linked below and I actually build this setting in that class so if you want to know how I achieve this kind of lighting and setup um, that'll be linked down below and it's yeah it's a really good class and it should help you. Other than that guys I hope you enjoyed this video um, please subscribe to my channel I'm just getting started on YouTube and I'm looking to post a new video every week or so. Uh, drop a like and a comment also that really helps me out. Other than that guys I hope you have a good day wherever you are and I'll see you in the next video.